Hi, this is JP from Blue Cycle. I'm here today to tell you about how easy it is to set up the Deep Tempo uh, Snowflake application so you can go and find anomalies in your network traffic. Super cool, very, uh, very quick to get some insights, and uh, let's get going. So uh, you need to go to docs.deeptempo.ai first, and from there, we're going to click on the Snowflake Quick Start. Uh, we, we have an overview on the right of what we're going to do. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is uh, go get our trial edition app from the Snowflake store. Before we do that though, in my, in my situation, just started this account, I need to go and set up a warehouse so that I have uh, somewhere to uh, run the workload. So I'm just going to create a warehouse called Tempo. I'm going to change the, the type to Snow Park Optimized. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to change it back to a small, uh, and I'm going to create the warehouse. So you can see how it was created. So uh, we'll just remember the word tempo for in a little bit. I'm going to go to data products, marketplace. I'm gonna type deep tempo. And I'm gonna to go to data products and pick temp tempo trial edition. I'm gonna go and click get. Notice how I am account admin. Uh, I'll close this. Notice how down here I'm account admin. Uh, we need account admin to be able to do the things we need in order to install this. Uh, the app name will be uh, Tempo Trial Edition, and you'll see how we have a warehouse called Tempo for this. I'm gonna click Get. Now that's gonna start running. I get this pop-up. Now, if you close this, uh, it, it, it's a little hard to find how to go back and uh, do the setup that the app needs to do. So I prefer to just let this run here. So while that's running, I'm gonna go back here. Uh, in a minute, we're gonna get a screen like this where we have to grant some permissions. And then, uh, uh, which will happen once, once we're installed. So I'm just gonna wait another minute. Not even, should pop in a second. All right, so we have successfully installed. We're gonna click configure. So we have to select a warehouse. Remember I created that tempo warehouse a few minutes ago. Uh, we need to now grant these permissions. So we've granted our permissions. We then click activate. Uh, we don't have to change anything here for our, our use case. Notice how it's version 109. And we're gonna launch our app. So it's gonna go through these steps to initialize everything and get, it, it kicks into this dashboard. So we can actually click the back button here, and then we can go to projects, and uh, we're gonna create a worksheet. That worksheet is gonna be a SQL worksheet. Now, I'm gonna open up this one from the other day, just so I can copy some things, and then uh, and paste them over into my other worksheet. So the first uh, thing we need to do is let's paste this in here. Now, before we hit the run button, we have to select our database, uh, don't select any schemas, just select the database itself. And then we have to select a warehouse to go run it. It's just not set by default. So now I'm gonna click run. And it's going to run this first job. All right, so it says initializ initialization complete. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the guide. Notice how we've gone through, we've launched the app. Uh, we select our databases. Uh, we just, uh, and it'll initialize our resources. Um, now we're gonna go call, uh, run our static infer inferences. And you'll notice that in the docs, it says your service name. I think I changed mine to something like blue cycle. So we're gonna go back here to my other open one. There we go. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste, I'm gonna paste this on a new line. As long as my cursor's on that line, it's gonna run just that command. So it's gonna run. This takes anywhere from like seven to 12 minutes, depending on things. I'm not exactly sure how, how that works, but uh, I'm just gonna pause this video and uh, we'll be back once, uh, once it's complete. And we're back. So uh, it turns out our job only took about uh, six or six or so seconds uh or i'm sorry six or so minutes um and yeah five minutes and 12 seconds 
So uh, I'm going to um, go and run our last command. So uh, I'm going to go back to my, my cheat sheet and I'm going to oop, copy this and paste this in here. Um, in this case, I'm going to use, uh, you see how we have all this data here. Um, I can see uh, essentially a sequence ID for each malicious hit. Tells us our um, source destination IP, the start and end time of the flow, as well as um, the destination, or I'm sorry, as, as well as the number of uh, connections. So uh, I'm gonna go and hit up sequence ID number two. So I'm gonna change this to two, and then I'm gonna run this. And this one takes about 30 seconds, I think, if I remember. Now, while we're waiting for this execute, uh, if you if you look back into the docs, you'll you'll learn that you can also uh, use your own data uh, and bring it in, and it's very very sim similar to a uh, a NetFlow uh, payload, and you can go in uh, and and you can actually do some device mapping. Um, and, and some other things. And then you can also uh, fine tune the model. Uh, there's instructions how to do that there. That would be for, for a different uh, video. There, we're gonna see. Hopefully this finishes soon.
All right, so after about six minutes, we were able to get our um, we were able to get our deep dive back, and this actually gives us a whole bunch more uh, information on uh, what was going on. And you can see how uh, we have uh, about you know we got back information from all those rows. So that concludes our demonstration for today. And uh, we hope you try it out. And uh, again, my name is JP, president at Blue Cycle, uh, www.bluecycle.net. And you should go check out Deep Tempo at uh, deeptempo.ai. Talk to you soon.